If you think about the current process of going to WebMD or any other symptom checker, patients don't necessarily have the same vocabulary that a physician or a clinician does. If you search for a particular skin disease, everybody goes to Google and they do a keyword search and then they self-diagnose themselves with cancer on WebMD. The problem that you have as a patient is that you're missing so much context. They can't tell you what the exact morphology of the lesion is, but if you have a photo, you can answer those things. There's all these different pieces out there and nobody has really taken them and combined them into one system and done it in an elegant way. We are focused on becoming a visual triage tool. You know, imagine people can go to triage.com, they can search for their symptoms, they can get an answer. The next iteration of that is to add a button that allows you to take a photo of a problem on your skin and get some ideas to the severity of, of the problem. And then from that point on, you can be passed off to a telehealth provider and can receive treatment right away. I'd say one of the biggest wins was our partnership with an organization called DermNet New Zealand. They've been working on uh, gathering data from patients for over 22 years and there's really a few data sets um, in the world like what they've uh, put together. They've provided us with data, the advice, everything you could imagine. Today we have a symptom checker that can support 600 different conditions, a visual classification system which supports 1,500 different conditions which are organized currently into about 37 top level categories. The long-term blue sky vision is really to have a general purpose triage tool that could not only look at your skin, but could look inside your ears, your nose, your throat, look at your eyes, uh, pretty much any condition. Overall, it will enhance the utility of the service so that people don't just turn to triage when they have a problem on their skin, they use it when anything's going wrong with them.